So God wants a new and better way of dealing with the evil in humanity. Enter Abraham, Genesis chapter 12. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and from your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you, and I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and to him who dishonors you I will curse. In all the families of the earth you shall be blessed. So Abraham is called to be a blessing, and he's called out of his father's house, and God will actually call him about a thousand miles away from his father's house to go through desert and places he doesn't know. And so he's he's calling Abraham to go and do this. And what we see is Abraham goes out trusting God. Um, and this trust in God, stepping out in faith, becomes a foundation that God is going to use to change the whole world. We see Abraham and his wife, Sarah, they go out, they, they go into uh, different countries. Abraham uh, is not, you know, he's, he shows himself to be a lot like us. He, he's afraid when he goes to his countries. He doesn't fully have this strong trust in God. And so he lies about Sarah and says that she's just his sister. Um, and that ends up with different hijinks. Um, it, but then God eventually, we see Abraham trusting God, trusting God over all these years. Finally, after he's about a hundred years old, God finally gives him a son. Um, and then right after God gives him a son, he asks him to sacrifice that son. And so we see Abram struggle with actually make the commitment to do that. And then God calls it back and says, actually, I'm going to bless you through this son.